Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back everyone. It feels good to be back after two or three months. I was blessed to be able to do some traveling over the summer in Bangladesh. You guys can see a map of Bangladesh, uh, the flag. It took about almost about 24 hours just to get there. Today I'm going to give you guys a monthly update on my Lofty real estate portfolio and the buys and sells I've been making. I have been investing with Lofty for over a year now. To be honest, it's been going quite a well. As always, don't forget to check out the disclaimer in the description below. I currently have about 21 different properties throughout the United States. They estimate a property value of $9,200 with an account value of $9,230. Out of the $9,200, I only put in about $8,764 of my money and rest of it about $444 was gained. So far, I made about $260 or $259 in rent payment. Currently, I have a rent balance of $2.35, which I am constantly reinvesting into buying into new shares, into new properties. For those of you guys who are new, I want to quickly go over what Lofty is. I'm going to take you guys to my definition. Lofty is a crowdfunded marketplace that allows you to invest in tokenized real estate properties on the blockchain as little as $50. So they are using the blockchain technology to get to the masses to invest into real estate portfolios and being able to buy shares in different houses and properties around the country. And if you're out of the country, especially if you're in UK or Asia or around the world, you're able to still invest into Lofty. It's not specific to the United States. So anyone around the world can invest into it. As I stated earlier, I currently have about 21 properties with a total of 188 tokens or 188 shares. And these are the properties that I have down here that you guys can see. If you guys are thinking about opening up a real estate portfolio or a lofty real estate portfolio, you guys can use my link. You don't have to use my link. As long as you guys use the link, you guys should get about $20 or $25, depending on what their promotion is. I'll also get some reward for using my link. Just keep in mind, you don't have to use my link. Just use a link. So that way you get at least $20, $25. It's a win-win situation. I do want to point out that you do have to invest about at least $250 within the first 30 days. Just to be clear, you do have to invest about $250 into Lofty within the first 30 days for the referral to count. So again, once you do that, you automatically start off with $20, $25. It's a win-win situation. You can't go wrong, especially with a great platform. So again, another thing about Lofty is that their support, their support is amazing. If you write them with any question, they'll reply back to you within the same day, few hours, two, three hours. They're, they're relatively good and they're very supportive. Again, once you guys open up an account, go to wallet and just set up your wallet because they'll give you some key phrases. Write that down somewhere on a paper and just to have it just for security purposes. So again, let's show you guys my portfolio. Again, currently my portfolio is at $9,200. So I have a Walker Avenue, about two shares out of 4,200 shares, currently valued at $98. I have four shares of Peria, Chicago, with a value of $191, a rent received a total of $4.74. And then this is one of my favorite properties. I have, I have about 12 shares of this property. Currently, they're yielding zero. So this property is not giving me any no rent because Whatever rent they're getting, currently at a share price of $35 per share, at once upon a time, they were trading for $50. So this property currently is, they are receiving rent, but whatever rent they get, they're putting it back into the reserve. They can have, in case something goes wrong, they have some reserve to work with. So currently the operating reserve balance for maintenance purposes is about $2,986 below half full. So after half full, once it's half full, I'll start getting some of the rent. Once the reserve is fully filled up, I'll start getting 100%. So based on the monthly cash flow on this property, it will take about 2.3 months for the reserve to be half full and then 3.6 additional months to go from half full to full. Scroll down unit one, they are paying rent $1,300. Unit two, there's something wrong with it, I think they have a move out or not i'm not sure if they are collecting the rent the the pm confirmed that the date needs to be extended so i think they are still here at this property so again i have about 12 shares in this property 
Pagewood, I have about 18 shares with a total rent received around $32 so far. 25 Circle Drive paid me about nine cents. This is a, one of my new properties that I acquired. This is one of my favorite that recently I added to my portfolio of properties. And they're paying me about 10.4%. This was what, 7.9% in rental yield. This one again, zero. They're taking the money and putting it back into ready to increase their reserve. Same thing with this one, five shares toward Cleveland. They decided to sell this property. So in that way, after selling the property, shareholders will get back their money after paying all the taxes and fees associated with it. Again, I have Grovewood, nine shares. They're paying me about 2.9%. It changes. We have Leclerc, 6%. Keeler Avenue, paying about, I have 20 shares, paying about 3.8. So currently I'm getting about, if we scroll up, I'm getting about, based on my calculation, I'm getting about, even though I'm getting a lot more, but currently as of right now, I'm making about $1.20 per day because Lofty pays out daily. I'm getting about $1.20 times it by 30. It's about $36, which is a lot of money for me because this is $36 I did not have to work for. This is $36 that came to me passively. If I were to multiply 1.20 times it by 365, I get about 400. So currently, yes, it will increase once the reserves of the properties are filled up. Currently, as of right now, I'm making about $438 per year just for owning these properties. This is one of my favorite properties to own. Let's take a look at some of their pictures. It's a relatively small house, but it's like it's renovated. The floors are nice. The kitchen is done. It's about four bedrooms. These are some of the bedrooms. So this is currently my favorite property. Their starting price at $50, but you don't have to pay $50. That's if you want to. And they're paying about 9.3% or 9.39% in rental yield. So why do I like this property so much? Because my two shares that I have, my rental yield on this property is about 10.48%. But if you were to buy it at $50, it will be 9.3. So I highly recommend you don't pay market value. You always want to get a bargain. You always want to get it deal so what you do is you go to the order book right you see the order book last traded was what 39 dollars someone bought this property for 30 this lucky person bought september 11 bought it for 39 dollars and four cents you see this is my order i put in an order for 41 dollars eventually and that's the highest bid right now so no one wants to buy this property i'm the only one who's willing to pay 41 dollars yes these sellers want to sell it but they want to sell it for 50 dollars i'm not paying 50 dollars. i'm just going to wait eventually some one of these persons they're going to get annoyed they're going to pay a pissed off and they're going to sell the property for 41 dollars and at that point i will get a bargain and what i'll be getting a good deal which will put my rental yield over 10 percent. and that is the strategy and that is why you guys are watching my channel because these are the tricks and values that i bring to you guys so again don't buy any property no matter what yes be patient wait because investing is about taking money from the unpatient and giving it to the patient so wait put your market order in and wait for someone to come and buy your share or wait for someone to come and sell them your share at your price remember just keep in mind you just want to make sure that your price is all the way at the top you don't want to put in but for like 39 dollars then it won't go through so you want to be wait way all the way in the top or 41 so if you were to come i would suggest put it 41 dollars and one cents so you outbid me and go higher up in the chain and your shares will get get bought before mine so that's the strategy that's the key there again you want to get properties with nine ten percent in yields another thing i want to show you guys is that you want to be looking at the details if you scroll down last time this this property had some issues was all the way in february February 22nd, they give you an update. The tenant made a partial payment and it owns a balance of $5,100. So recently in the last five, six months, they didn't have an issue. That means that these tenants are paying rent and they're not having any issues. They're not having any maintenance works. So your reserve is staying full. This is a solid company. I would suggest you guys look into. There's so many good ones, but this is one of them that I like looking to add more shares. I currently only have two shares. So guys, if you guys made it this far, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I make these updates on a monthly basis so you guys can see my buys, my sells, how I'm adding money. And eventually my goal will be to withdraw the money on a monthly basis. If I can get $100, $200 in monthly rental income, I'm just going to withdraw it and send it to my, my bank account. 
and it will be additional income. Yes, I'll have my day job and then I'll get $100, $200 from this, my real estate property that I will, I will use to pay my other bills, my car bills for MetroCard or my rent. And so on. one of my goals is to use this money to pay off my living expense. As always, guys, if you guys made it this far, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I make monthly updates on my property. As always, thank you. We're going to see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.